48 hours has a story of shattered dreams. It seems as though a California couple had the perfect life together until the husband reported his wife had fallen to her death. Maureen Marr reports on a case involving abuse, family secrets, and ultimately a charge of murder. Hi. Hello. Thank you for agreeing to talk to us today. Obviously, this is not a normal setting for when we would do an interview. Tell me your name and tell me where we are. I'm David Ditto and I'm at Vista Detention Facility. I met my wife Karina. I was on vacation from school my junior year in college. She was his American dream and she had always thought she would live in the United States with this handsome American. David and Karina Ditto, married for 16 years, seemed to have the perfect marriage. But then... My wife put herself on the stairs. Can you bring an ambulance? It was the early hours of March 12, 2011. David Ditto found the lifeless body of his wife, 38-year-old Karina, at the bottom of the stairs in their home. I heard the cat screech at the top of the stairs, and I heard just a really noisy bang, 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 coming down the stairs. And I jumped up and ran over and found Karina laying at the foot of the stairs. And she wasn't moving, wasn't talking. Karina had many bruises all over her body, and she had a laceration to the back of her head. Veteran San Diego homicide detective J.C. Smith says it was no accident. Karina struggled violently until the bitter end, so violent that it left marks on David Ditto. That was consistent with domestic violence, with a fight, with a woman scratching and fighting for her life. Reaching up and, and clawing? Yes. But if there was a violent struggle, wouldn't the commotion have woken up their 14-year-old son and 10-year-old daughter? David had access to narcotics, and we thought, possibly, he used the drugs on his kids. Did you give your children anything that night to make them sleep? No, absolutely not. They're making me out to be a monster. Did you get anywhere close to having a physical altercation with her? No. Prosecutor Claudine Ruiz says Karina had been a victim of domestic abuse. Not physical, but rather emotional. Monitoring when she could use the phone to making her pay for their children's diapers. But he was not the type of abuser who would lose his temper and beat his wife. He was a cold, calculating man and he made the decision to kill her but who would a jury believe they just say honey honey are you okay trying to wake her up were you able to wake her up <laughs> no maureen Meher is here and maureen so did she ever confide to anyone about the abuse she did, but only to one person, and it was in letters back to her mother in Mexico. And no one knew about those, really, until after she had died. Maureen, if someone is, is the victim of emotional abuse, can they get legal protection of some kind? Well, the domestic abuse laws that are on the books, they cover physical abuse, emotional abuse, mm -hmm. that type of intimidation. But obviously, emotional abuse is much harder to um, prove because mm -hmm. you don't have pictures of it. So what judges and advocates for uh, domestic abuse victims say is you need to keep a journal. Right. Um, although many women who are in this position feel if it's written down somewhere that it could be used against them later by the person who's abusing them. So it's, it's tricky, but it's it's really about telling people and not living in that cocoon in that environment. And what does the prosecution say was the motive? Um... Well, it was really she had had gotten a job for the first time in 16 years. She was out on her own. She was making a little bit of money. Basically, she was flexing her independent muscles, and uh, he didn't like it. And he even admitted to us, you know, it was hard. It was a change in their marriage, and it was tough on them. And she'd made a few friends, some of them of the opposite sex. So they're looking at jealousy as a possibility. All right, Maureen, thank you. And you can see Maureen's full report, Shattered Dreams, on 48 Hours, tomorrow night at 10, 9 Central, right here on CBS.